what do I mean by gripping? Saying I, it's like, why is not here? Why is not here? Let's go. It's almost being like a little, little kid and not getting his way and saying, why is not here? Why is not here? What's going on? You know, it's that, that, that self pity, that uh, place of absence of the thing that you want. We're going to go on the other side and say, it's here. It's good things are coming. I expect all good things to come my way. I know this universal power. I know how it works. I'm connected to gratitude. It is my right to receive everything I want to. I believe in the infinite. If I receive a ton more, I can give to the world a ton more. All this stuff around me, everybody has their right to also do what I do. I've, taken the pr- I've paid the price, though. I've invested in myself to have the knowledge and implementation of this knowledge. I deserve every- all the good that's coming towards me. Everybody else has also access to programs, coaches, and people to help them as well. I'm paying my price. I'm putting out the good. Now I expect the universe to deliver as an infinite source of knowledge and awareness and things that can help me on my path exactly down the right road with the least possible resistance. Good things are always coming towards me. I feel ease in all situations. I feel relief knowing that all good things are coming to and through me at all times. And all the money that's coming towards me is magnifying who I am to allow all good things to come towards me and everybody else in my life. I'm great at what I do. I love what I do. Things are unfolding better and better. Life and business and income are exploding through the roof. Things are magnifying. Okay. So I just want a little rampage there, right? That's what I just did. I did it. Ask, believe, receive. I got into the emotion. I'm sure you could feel it, that it was like ease, r- relief. Get into the groove and demand what you want. Not in a harsh way, not saying I must have this, but it is saying I am ease. It's a physical lie sometimes, but when you own that physical lie, which is a spiritual truth, you will connect to source and it will happen. Connecting to source means you are going into the thing that you want and demanding with a positive I am that this must become my physical present. By saying already what is this old story, it's affirming in the future, the next moment must unleash my consciousness and the I am, this is difficult. I am, this is hard. This is never working, whatever it is, right? And I could go down that road and you'll feel it, okay? On the other side, though, you are affirming I am. Consciousness responds by of forming to your I am statements. If you're always telling the old story, the next future moment must replicate compared to your vibration. The next moment in your consciousness must replicate what you start affirming as a new physical truth. And as you embrace that physical truth, you are believing and you will receive because you're allowing it in. Comes conviction. You start living a little more faith. I don't know. There's abundance of energy tonight, I guess. I don't know. We're rock and rolling here. Uh, Anyone going to have any questions so far. We've gone through a ton of stuff. Okay. Uh, any questions on any of this process? Nancy, I do remember your question. It just came back to me. So, It's a good time to ask your questions. Everyone good to go? Okay, Bill has a great question. Let's cover Nancy's question. Then we'll cover Bill's question here as well. Okay, Nancy has a great question. It was um, all about, is there um, a reason for the awareness and the the fog? Like, you know, having that lack of awareness, why don't we just know? I don't know if I know the answer to that. I don't know if anybody knows. It's kind of this life mystery. Why don't we have full 100% awareness of what we're supposed to do? My belief, it has to be a belief, because I don't know if any physical person can, uh, so far as we know, physically, as we call, prove any evidence towards this stuff, okay? But conscious awareness is not fully there because this physical life, if we believe this, there is a spiritual purpose to what we're doing here. It is to grow, learn, and experiment, and understand, and live in this physical nature for us to grow in awareness in our spiritual selves, that that energy that we have. Or as if you ever, uh, Neil Diamond Walsh, if you are a big fan of any of all the people on The Seeker, okay, he talks about getting in touch with God and, and speaking, his book's all about it, speaking to God. Okay? And what, what God responded with, or universe, or whatever you want to call it, what he responded with was, you are, uh, I, I am an expression in you. I, I want to seek to be more of me. I want to experience more of me. And as we are more and more aware, that's when you so-called find old souls. 
people who are very wise, at, no matter what the physical age is, in these understandings, because they just have this uh, mass awareness of what's going on and understanding in this conscious moment. It's like a game. If we had full awareness of how things were going to unfold, it wouldn't be a game anymore. It wouldn't be this life. So uh, I don't know if anybody really knows, but that would be, that's my belief on this stuff. Whereas I treat it as a game, so it becomes a game. I, I, it's an awareness game. Once you know, and you experience, and you learn, and you go through the fears, you're winning the game. That, those are the rules of the game. As long as you have the courage to keep moving forward in the fog, embrace me, believe in me. That's, that's what God would say. I'm not saying believe in me as a coach. I'm saying yeah, that's what God the universe would say is believe in me, understand my power, and I will pull you towards the right direction. But believe in me or believe in the fear. You get to choose, and that's why we're experiencing this physical life. Okay, It's all about kind of the choice. I hope that uh, gives you a cool little belief to think about, Nancy. Okay, um, and let's go to Bill's question here. On Friday, you explained how to tell the difference between intuition and our old paradigms. Can you discuss that again? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for asking that, Bill. It's really good. Okay, intuition. Intuition comes first. Okay. You have a feeling. It will be a feeling inside. It will be an urge. It will be like an awesome idea. You'll just feel it. You'll just be like, man, that's it. I, I get, that's it. That's what I want to do. Um, and you'll feel this mass energy towards a beautiful thing. It's always a beautiful thing. Okay, know that. Source is pure positive energy. It is all love. It is all joy. So intuition is connection with that source. You know that that thing, intuition, is always good. It's always for something better to happen. Okay, so you, yeah, you must know that. Old paradigm is most times BS, and you know it's BS. It's not an inner knowing. It's a thought. It's a difference. Logical thought compared to a feeling, okay? The logical thought patterns say, like, no, you can't do this. It's a doubt, or it's, or it's some sort of belief towards something, but it's absurd. It makes no sense at all. Those are paradigm. You have to understand paradigm is a program. It's all beliefs. Intuition is not a belief. It's an inner knowing. Complete difference there. Okay? Old paradigms will talk you out of your dream. Intuition will talk you into your dream. Okay? 